I would work from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Every day, Monday through Friday. Slaving my ass off on a golf course. Middle of the summer. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Every day. At 2 p.m., I would clock out. Um, I would go home. I would eat a meal. And I would get ready for the gym. So I worked that day job. And then I would go to the gym. And that that was my world like going to the gym was time for me to develop myself it was time for me to um strip down layer by layer all the bullshit that accumulated over time right and it it gave me time to get closer to my pure self so from six to two every day i was working for somebody else and then i would go home I would eat my meal, didn't matter, I was going to the fucking gym, because that's what I needed to do. And I knew it was gonna get me somewhere. Deep down, I just knew it was gonna get me somewhere. I knew every time I was going there, it was bringing me closer to something. I didn't know what. So eventually, um, a friend of mine at the time mentioned he was gonna take his test to go become a trainer. And I was like, that's a good idea, man. You know, I could make money right now off of this off of doing what i love to do right now like i love training and that way i just go to the gym and i make money by showing other people how to work out (laughs) Um, i had dropped out of college didn't have a degree knew i loved working out i was tired of working on the fucking golf course every day mowing grass Um, but i knew i had more to give because when i was out there i was isolated just doing what i was told to do so nothing wrong with that if you need to do that to make some money do it for now until you find something that lights you up and that you need to then at that point go pursue so i paid 800 bucks um for my training course they shipped me my textbook and every single day i would read the book highlight take notes um go through the videos on the modules online every single day Um, I would do that and I would train so that's where this started now fast forward um, started working at a commercial gym Um, it's uncomfortable at first you got to sit at the front desk you got to greet people you got to make phone calls to people that you don't know Um, it was good experience for me it made me feel uncomfortable I was comfortable working out. I was comfortable isolating myself with headphones on and not talking to anybody. Uh, But it made me step out of my comfort zone, which was good. Just what I needed. Got my confidence up with training people. um, Learned about supplementation, things like that. And uh, mind you, football and athletics was still in my heart at this time. And I still wanted to help athletes, you know, on the field with sports specific training. Um, But one of the rules at the time was, you know, if you train in here, you can't um, receive extra income from somewhere else. They found out I was training outside of the gym and they gave me a choice. Like you can stay here, but you have to basically quit your own, you know, private training stuff and you know, just be full-time here. And I said, that's it. That's not something that, you know, you're not gonna tell me what I can and can't do with my life. I'm in control of my life. So I decided to go do my own thing. It was scary. It was like, dude, I just got this awesome job at this gym and now I'm telling them I'm leaving in three months because I wanna go be able to do what I wanna do. I wanna go train people wherever I wanna train people. I don't wanna have to be limited to you know, a nine to three or whatever. I, I, I worked actually from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day, three to nine. Um, I didn't want to be limited. And I knew I love sports still and I love training. So I would meet clients at the field. Hey, let's go. We're going to do some speed and agility today. Some SAQ training, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a tough phone call. I said, listen, man, I'm out. And I continue to just pick up clients. Started with athletes, younger kids, and started recording videos, taking videos. 
and uploading it to my Instagram because I knew, you know, I had this skill set that I had been, you know, cultivating and developing and, and sharpening every day. I had the skill set I was working on. Why would I stop now? Like I had all this momentum. So it started from receiving a paycheck at the commercial gym to then creating my own income by using other facilities. One thing led to another, led to another, and it continued to snowball. So momentum was created, started creating momentum because I took action and I didn't stop. Something didn't work out, I took a right turn. That didn't work out, I took a left-hand turn, okay? I never moved backward, I kept moving forward. Started building my brand, made a name for the business. Then I said, you know what? Why don't I establish this business? Let me make this an LLC, right? So I went on LegalZoom, created an LLC. Now I have an actual business that I can file taxes for, right? That was the next big step and continued to build the brand day by day. I built the brand every single day, one video two videos, one person, have somebody film me actually train. Um, and that continued to snowball over time. And I started to generate more revenue every month. So now I got my name on the door, right? So that's where I am now. And you see how it's slowly starting to build. So you have a craft, you have a skill set that you've been continuing to develop do not let something get in the way of that do not let one bad thing stop you from building that and harnessing and crafting that skill set you found something that you love right if you need to get a day job just to have income go ahead and do that eventually your passion will make room for you Okay? It will knock everything out of the way. And that's what happened to me. This is how I feed my family. And I'm here to tell you today that you can do the same. Okay? You can do the same. In the beginning when you're the one that's doing all of your sessions and you're the one that's also building the brand, recording, um, sending out emails and text messages, then going show and showing up and coaching, all of these things you're doing by yourself for the most part that's the hardest part about this right now it's tiring some days you don't want to get up and go do it but when you step back and see the journey right think back to where you started and like where you are right now 